depending on how you look at it. It's only quarter past five, so. Uh, so today marks day one of three for my training uh, plan for the week. Uh, I've told a few of you. I was trying to get people to come join me to give me a hand, but oh well. Anyway, uh, so those that know, I'm doing Buffalo Stampede Grand Slam, which consists of 10Ks on Friday, 75 on Saturday, and then 42 on Sunday. So it's a thought effort. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a really hard event, and I feel like even this training tonight, tomorrow and Sunday is going to be hard so I'm basically going to half every event besides the 10 because we can't do 10Ks or well, I should at least be able to do 10Ks um, I'm out at the Mall National Park as you know I've just finished work uh, tomorrow will be hard because I'm working 9 till 12 and I'll have to finish I'll have to do a basically a marathon after that out here again tomorrow which is worrying slightly scary <laughs> well i know i can do it but i don't feel like being out too late uh so yeah i'll do 10 today roughly 10 uh 37 and a half tomorrow and then i'll look at doing a 21 on sunday um may even go for a flat course there I don't know see what happens I'll just take it as it goes but ideally I want to keep doing hills throughout the whole thing um yeah I just as I was coming in I'm like you know what I'm gonna get my trekking poles and I'm just gonna go for it I'm gonna do at least two big climbs uh probably 200 meters or so in the first kilometer I go to the first gate, Barking Hill Gate, then I'll make my way over to Wombat Hill Gate. And then I'll see where I'm at with kilometres up to that point. And then I might just loop back down on the road uh, to Barking Hill Gate and come back down the hill and finish here. I thought maybe I should give myself a time limit. And I think an hour and a half is more than acceptable uh that's i feel like that should be plenty of time so i'm setting that hour and a half to get 10 k's roughly 10 k's out here with the big hills the big climbs so i need to get moving uh, well i haven't started yet i'm going to put this back in the car i'll do another video at the end after i've finished and go from there. I'm going to have my trekking poles. I might see if I can smash a record somewhere here. Maybe. I shall see. Bye bye. See you at the end of my run. Oh. Oh. Please sweat in my eye. Yeah. <sighs> kilometers. 1059 calories burnt, an average of 7 minutes 29 per kilometre, 1 hour 18 minutes and 31 seconds, so I got my goal. Um, if I go here, loading, I feel like I could go faster, but I've got more to do this weekend. Average heart rate 134. Max heart rate 167, cadence 142 steps per minute, 441 meters of ascent. I feel like that's pretty good, pretty good indeed. Oh, it's cooled down a little bit, but oh, don't mind me. I have to shake the hair out a bit. Ah, uh, feels good. <sighs> I'm thinking for my 21k loop, I may do that segment twice, or that uh, thing twice. So once I finish a loop, I'll go back and do it again in reverse. I feel like that'll be a... That's a long climb from here to the top of the other one. It's longer than anything else here. 
Mm, actually, no, that's not right. Bottom of zigzag to the top of there is longer. Oh, anyway, I don't want to drone on. Thanks for watching this video. At this point, I think I may just upload these daily or I may just merge these all together in one big video. Big video. Big video. Big video. Yeah. Okay, guys. Bye. Welcome. Oh, now it's recording. Okay. Howdy, guys. Welcome to day two of three for the multi day event. Uh, so, those that have already watched up to this part have known that I have already completed the 10k run. Well, 5 to 10Ks, it ended up being 10.49 last night with like 449 metres of elevation. I've been trying to think of what I want to do out here. And I think I'm going to make it an extremely repetitive run and I just want to get a lot of vert. So I think I'm just going to be going from here up, up the hill that's just here and then across to that gate, come back across, down and then back to here. So... I'm probably going to be doing like 16 hill repeats. It's going to take a long time. Uh, yeah, I know it's... I know I was incorrect last night. It wasn't 200 metres per in the first K. I think it's like 100. So by the end of the day, I'll probably be over... 16 repeats. I might get close to 2,000 uh, vert. See how it goes. It's feeling warm. I've put sunscreen on. Um, here's my bag of goodies. I've got a little towel thing. Always going to wear a shirt, but I don't have body glide. I'm just sunscreened up. I've got water. I've got chocolate when I'm desperate. I've got jelly beans. Uh, some Schweppes blood orange passion fruit. There's not much of it there, so I'm not going to rely on it. And then I've got my bread for my almond butter and soy sauce sandwiches. Um, I'm starting this way too late, it's a bit of a bugger I had to work today, tried to get out of it, um, but anyway, I shall get going I think, the sooner I start the sooner I finish, um, I'm not going to pre-make any of my sandwiches, I'm just going to make them when I want them, uh, I shouldn't need them for at least the first hour. But I may have one just because I'm going to be out here for a while. Probably six, seven hours, maybe. I don't know. See how I feel. Uh, yeah, just get into it. I'm not really feeling like it today. Uh, someone told me that I'll be stronger for doing this, for getting out of my comfort zone. But I guess I need to do this to be prepared for my future runs. Alright. See you soon guys, time to suffer a bit, I guess. <laughs> okay guys, I've finished repeat number three. So I'm up to 6.48 kilometers in 56 minutes and 28 seconds now. 354 meters of percent. Uh, feeling pretty warm. I decided I'll finish three loops and I'll come back and get some water, do an update. So maybe every Every three repeats, I'll come back here. Um, anyway, don't want to be here for too long. Uh, have some water, and I'll keep moving. Bye. Forgot. I'm there. Forgot to mention that I've been hitting the lap button after each repeat. So far, it's been like 17, 18 minutes. The last one was 19 minutes. Uh, so I'll do another lap reset for after the end of this break, and we'll be back into it. For those that decide to look at the lap repeats, I am expecting it to be very uh, slow by the end of this. See you soon, guys. Okay, loop uh, repeat number five. Um, really not in my comfort zone. Really not feeling up to doing that many repeats of the hill. It's 1 hour 43 minutes, 10.91 kilometres, 593 metres of ascent. I was going to do one more repeat before I come down and have a break, but I think I need to get some electrolytes in me. I'm sweating a fair bit, even though my heart rate 
I only just checked it then, it was only at 120. So I'm going to make myself one slice of bread with almond butter and soy sauce and I'm actually going to walk the uh, Larry's Loop which is 2.3 kilometres. If my legs feel like running then I'll run, if they don't then they don't. And then I'll get back into the repeats after that one. Alright, see you soon guys. Ooh, okay, it took me 20 or just over 28 minutes to walk most of that last loop. I was thinking a lot throughout it. Uh, I think this is all still good preparation. I think it goes to show maybe I ran yesterday too hard. I mean, I got a new uh, segment record, and I think by like a minute on my uh, run yesterday, so that was uphill. Um, so yeah, my legs have already been hammered for running a little bit. And I know I didn't run hard at two bays last week, but it's still 28 kilometers. I haven't really relaxed in that time. I went out and ran intervals on Tuesday, which are hard enough as it is. And then a hard, well, not a, I don't know, a decent effort yesterday, pushing myself still. And now I'm out here today aiming for 37.5 k's in the middle of the day where I don't like to run, where the sun is still out. <sighs> and in the end I've got two major runs this year. One is the Grand Slam, so I'm getting the hills in. And then there's the Yu Yang's 160 kilometer aka 100 miler where I know I'm going to be walking a lot so I think it's just about being out here I'll, I'm still going to push for 37.5 I think it's going to be hard um, uh, but yeah um, I think once it cools down, I will be able to run a little bit more. See, the sun's right on me. <laughs> Battery's running out on this as well, so I don't want to record for too long. I want to be able to get the end of the run in and another couple of recordings. I've decided I'm going to go out and walk the other side of the park. It's like 4 k's. I just need to break it up and do what I can. See you soon, guys. Hey, guys. So, I've decided to call it. Um, I walked the whole last bit. I'm up to 17 and a half kilometers. Uh, legs are struggling a bit. Um, so, I'm just not feeling it. I think for major training things like this, I'm not going to be working before it. It's just stupid. Coming, it's like a week from, no, not a week, a month from roller coaster. So, I'm not going to kill myself this weekend and fuck up my chances again for roller coaster this year. I would say, the end of the day, this was a goal to be able to do this. It's going to be the goal to try and do Buffalo. If this is the baseline I'm starting with, so be it. Who cares? I've come out, I've done what I can. And I'll be back out tomorrow to hopefully do 21. All right, see you guys. Thanks for watching. <sighs> Good morning guys, so today's day three of three for my multi-day training event. Um, yeah, feeling tired, legs are sore. Guess it's time to record on my phone because I didn't bring the spare battery for my GoPro. Uh, so 
today is day three of three for my multi-day event training. Uh, feeling pretty tired, feeling pretty sore. A lot of elevation yesterday, like a thousand meters nearly in like 18 Ks. So it's pretty up there for me. Uh, today's goal is 21 kilometers. I uh, didn't reach yesterday's goal as you realized, but today I'm going to be doing two big loops. Uh, the same one that I did on the first day and I'll repeat it the way I did the other day. And then the second time around, I'll do it in reverse. So it's going to be a really long climb at the start for the second loop. But anyway, it is right on 7 a.m. The sooner I get this done, the sooner I can relax a bit. And, uh, yeah. Nice beard. Anyway, I guess I can record throughout the run now that I've got this, but I think I may have music playing as well, just to keep me going today, I think. See how I go, see how long I can go without having it played. See you soon, guys. <sighs> okay. Gate number one. A few more gates to go. See you soon. Whew. Here we are, everyone. Wombat Hill Gate. Oh, this is going to be a long run. Still haven't finished the first loop. Oh, haven't gotten to the highest point of the first loop yet. At least I know it's just up there. Well, there is one more climb after that, but it's not very long. And then it's downhill all the way. That's the end of this loop. So I think I'll be around, or oh, between an hour 30 and two hours for the first loop. And then maybe one, uh, 145 to 215 for the next. And that's been optimistic. Anyway. See you soon. <sighs> okay, last couple of k's seem to have gone really quick. I don't care if it's downhill. I thought it was going to take a lot longer. Um, back at Barking Hillgate, I still have to finish this loop. I'm at a 1 hour 34 so far. I'm going to get back down to the car. Sorry for the sun then. And have some water. I'll have some almond butter and soy sauce and then back out for the last loop. I know I'm not doing this very fast, like it's 20, nearly 20 minutes slower than uh, Thursday's, uh, Friday's uh, loop. By the time I get back down to the cart, we'll be over 20 minutes. And I've just started to feel nipple chafe. Yep. So, next shirt, next loop is going to be topless. Get it done. Two out of three for the week. And isn't too bad though, for the goals. There's the barking. Anyway, I'm live tracking this as well for those that have seen the link. Oh, shut up. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, yeah. If it comes to it, I'm going to be stopping the uh, live track so I can keep recording. Yes, fair enough. Um, I think the battery will last anyway. Got plenty left. But just in case, bye. All right, made it back down to the car. It was like one hour 42, roughly. So it was like 24 minutes slower than the other day. Um, I've had some water. I've had a good serving of uh, ham and butter and soy sauce on, on a sandwich. And I've got some jelly beans to have while I can 
to start the climb. So it's going to be about three k's of climbing to the top of the point here. So I'm just going to walk all of that, maybe a couple of hundred meters of running, and then it should be it'll be downhill for most of the run after that, which is good. <laughs> All right, time to get this done. See you soon, guys. That sun is really bright. Bright. All right, that's Barking Hill Gate. So I've got a long road climb ahead of me now. Uh, a little bit of a trail climb, and then it's downhill most of the way. I uh, didn't end up running any of that flat bit there. Just took it easy, I'm conserving for this climb now, I guess. And the last climb where I go up Barking Hill again and then down to the finish. <sighs> oh, time to put some tunes on, I think. Get me up this hill. Fourteen point six three kilometers in. It feels like I've only got 1k to go. Feeling good. It's really not that far from here. It's all down, mostly. But I'm close. Spirits are high, they're very high. So, I could potentially do more if I wanted. But I'm sticking with my goal first and go from there. But something I haven't done in a while, and besides upload these videos, goes along the lines of, yeah, bro! I scared someone there, but I don't mind. I love it when it echoes. I'm still feeling good. Yeah! Boy! Yeah! <laughs> How about we bring it home, eh? <sighs> Hell of a way to finish a run. Oh, let's see. Three hours, 26 minutes and 29 seconds. 21.62 kilometers. Average pace of nine minutes, 33 a kilometer. 1,854 calories burnt. Pretty happy with today. Oh, sweating so much. Details. Where's my elevation? 923 meters. I'm happy with that. Good stuff. So I guess that's the end of day three. Two out of three days completed. Um, finished well. Very well. Nearly at a time for um, low battery warning 10% left nearly finished this loop with tired legs at the goal pace I want to do for roller coasters first loop of three hours I know it's 26 minutes longer but if I go fresh legs and just cruise it through at three hours and do roughly the same for the second loop or three and a half hours I'll be happy positive I know I've got it this year I've got it I've got it. I can do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry I had to go to the phone for the rest of the run. Uh, better prepared next time, I guess.